seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey everybody, it's your friend Ferb Jr. I'm going to be doing my, um, I'm going to be playing some Minecraft in Pocket Edition. We're going to be doing survival mode and, or I will be doing survival mode and I'm going to listen to my scriptures. Uh, let me go to my scripture tracking tool. Looks like we're going to do Joshua chapter 9 today. Okay, Joshua chapter 9. Go over to my scripture library application, which is linked in the description of the video after it's recorded and I post it on YouTube. So I'm going to listen to it. Chapter 9. The Gibeonites by craft obtain a league with Israel. Joshua makes them servants to the congregation of Israel. And it came to pass, when all the kings which were on this side Jordan, in the hills and in the valleys, and in all the coasts of the great sea over against Lebanon, the Hittite and the Amorite, the Canaanite, the Perizzite, the Hivite, and the Jebusite heard thereof, that they gathered themselves together, to fight with Joshua and with Israel, with one accord. And when the inhabitants of Gibeon heard what Joshua had done unto Jericho and to Ai, they did work wilily, and went and made as if they had been ambassadors, and took old sacks upon their asses, and wine bottles, old, and rent, and bound up, and old shoes, and clouted upon their feet, and old garments upon them, and all the bread of their provision was dry and moldy. And they went to Joshua unto the camp at Gilgal, and said unto him and to the men of Israel, We be come from a far country, now therefore make ye a league with us. And the men of Israel said unto the Hivites, Peradventure ye dwell among us, and how shall we make a league with you? And they said unto Joshua, We are thy servants. And Joshua said unto them, Who are ye, and from whence come ye? And they said unto him, From a very far country thy servants are come, because of the name of the Lord thy God, for we have heard the fame of him, and all that he did in Egypt, and all that he did to the two kings of the Amorites, that were beyond Jordan, to Sihon king of Heshbon, and to Og king of Bashan, which was at Ashtaroth. Wherefore our elders and all the inhabitants of our country spake to us, saying, Take victuals with you for the journey, and go to meet them, and say unto them, We are your servants. Therefore now make ye a league with us. This our bread we took hot for our provision out of our houses on the day we came forth to go unto you. But now behold, it is dry, and it is moldy. And these bottles of wine which we filled were new, and behold, they be rent. And these our garments and our shoes are become old by reason of the very long journey. And the men took of their victuals and asked not counsel at the mouth of the Lord. And Joshua made peace with them, and made a league with them, to let them live. And the princes of the congregation swear unto them. And it came to pass at the end of three days, after they had made a league with them, that they heard that they were their neighbors, and that they dwelt among them. And the children of Israel journeyed, and came unto their cities on the third day. Now their cities were Gibeon, and Kephira, and Beeroth, and kerjath jearim And the children of Israel smote them not, because the princes of the congregation had sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel. And all the congregation murmured against the princes. But all the princes said unto all the congregation, We have sworn unto them by the Lord God of Israel. Now therefore, we may not touch them. This we will do to them. We will even let them live, lest wrath be upon us, because of the oath which we swear unto them. And the princes said unto them, Let them live, but let them be hewers of wood, and drawers of water unto all the congregation, as the princes had promised them. And Joshua called for them, and he spake unto them, saying, Wherefore have ye beguiled us, saying, we are very far from you, when ye dwell among us. 
Now therefore ye are cursed, and there shall none of you be freed from being bondmen and hewers of wood, and drawers of water for the house of my God. And they answered Joshua, and said, Because it was certainly told thy servants, how that the Lord thy God commanded his servant Moses to give you all the land, and to destroy all the inhabitants of the land from before you. Therefore we were sore afraid of our lives because of you, and have done this thing. And now, behold, we are in thine hand, as it seemeth good and right unto thee to do unto us. Do. And so did he unto them, and delivered them out of the hand of the children of Israel, that they slew them not. And Joshua made them that day hewers of wood, and drawers of water for the congregation, and for the altar of the Lord, even unto this day, in the place which he should choose. Chapter 10 Israel defeats the Amorites and their allies, and the Lord casts stones from heaven upon them. The sun and moon stand still. Many kings and cities are destroyed. The Lord fought for Israel. Now it came to pass, when Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, had heard how Joshua had taken Ai, and had utterly destroyed it, as he had done to Jericho and her king, so he had done to Ai and her king, and how the inhabitants of Gibeon had made peace with Israel, and were among them, that they feared greatly, because Gibeon was a great city, as one of the royal cities, and because it was greater than Ai, and all the men thereof were mighty. Wherefore Adonai Zedek, king of Jerusalem, sent unto Hoham, king of Hebron, and unto Piram, king of Jarmuth, and unto Jephiah, king of Lachish, and unto Deber, king of Eglon, saying, Come up unto me, and help me, that we may smite Gibeon, for it hath made peace with Joshua and with the children of Israel. Therefore the five kings of the Amorites, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, the king of Eglon, gathered themselves together and went up, they and all their hosts, and encamped before Gibeon, and made war against it. And the men of Gibeon sent unto Joshua to the camp of Gilgal, saying, Smite not thy hand from thy servants, come up to us quickly, and save us, and help us. For all the kings of the Amorites that dwell in the mountains are gathered together against us. So Joshua ascended from Gilgal, he and all the people of war with him, and all the mighty men of valor. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Fear them not, for I have delivered them into thine hand. There shall not a man of them stand before thee. Joshua therefore came unto them suddenly, and went up from Gilgal all night. And the Lord discomfited them before Israel, and slew them with a great slaughter at Gibeon, and chased them along the way that goeth up to Beth Horon, and smote them to Azekah, and unto Makeda. And it came to pass, as they fled from before Israel, and were in the going down to Beth Horon, that the Lord cast down great stones from heaven upon them unto Azekah, and they died. They were more which died with hailstones than they whom the children of Israel slew with the sword. Then spake Joshua to the Lord, in the day when the Lord delivered up the Amorites before the children of Israel. And he said in the sight of Israel, Son, Stand thou still upon Gibeon, and thou moon in the valley of Ajalon. And the sun stood still, and the moon stayed, until the people had avenged themselves upon their enemies. Is not this written in the book of Jasher? So the sun stood still in the midst of heaven, and hasted not to go down about a whole day. And there was no day like that before it or after it, that the Lord hearkened unto the voice of a man. For the Lord fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, unto the camp to Gilgal. But these five kings fled, and hid themselves in a cave at Makeda. And it was told Joshua, saying, The five kings are found hid in a cave at Makeda. And Joshua said, Roll great stones on the mouth of the cave, and set men by it for to keep them. And stay ye not, but pursue after your enemies, and smite the hindmost of them. Suffer them not to enter into their cities, for the Lord your God hath delivered them into your hand. And it came to pass, when Joshua and the children of Israel had made an end of slaying them with a very great slaughter, till they were consumed, 
that the rest which remained of them entered into fenced cities. And all the people returned to the camp to Joshua at Makeda in peace. None moved his tongue against any of the children of Israel. Then said Joshua, Open the mouth of the cave, and bring out those five kings unto me out of the cave. And they did so, and brought forth those five kings unto him out of the cave, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, the king of Jarmuth, the king of Lachish, and the king of Eglon. And it came to pass, when they brought out those kings unto Joshua, that Joshua called for all the men of Israel, and said unto the captains of the men of war which went with him, Come near, put your feet upon the necks of these kings. And they came near, and put their feet upon the necks of them. And Joshua said unto them, Fear not, nor be dismayed. Be strong and of good courage, for thus shall the Lord do to all your enemies against whom ye fight. And afterward Joshua smote them, and slew them, and hanged them on five trees. And they were hanging upon the trees until the evening. And it came to pass at the time of the going down of the sun, that Joshua commanded, and they took them down off the trees, and cast them into the cave wherein they had been hid, and laid great stones in the cave's mouth, which remain until this very day. And that day Joshua took Makeda, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof he utterly destroyed, them and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain, and he did to the king of Makeda as he did unto the king of Jericho. Then Joshua passed from Makeda and all Israel with him unto Libna, and fought against Libna. And the Lord delivered it also, and the king thereof, into the hand of Israel. And he smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein. He let none remain in it, but did unto the king thereof, as he did unto the king of Jericho. And Joshua passed from Libna, and all Israel with him, unto Lachish, and encamped against it, and fought against it. And the Lord delivered Lachish into the hand of Israel, which took it on the second day, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein, according to all that he had done to Libna. Then Horam, king of Gezer, came up to help Lachish, and Joshua smote him and his people, until he had left him none remaining. And from Lachish Joshua passed unto Eglon, and all Israel with him, and they encamped against it, and fought against it. And they took it on that day, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and all the souls that were therein he utterly destroyed it that day, according to all that he had done to Lachish. And Joshua went up from Eglon, and all Israel with him unto Hebron, and they fought against it. And they took it, and smote it with the edge of the sword, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof, and all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, according to all that he had done to Eglon, but destroyed it utterly, and all the souls that were therein. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him to Deber, and fought against it. And he took it, and the king thereof, and all the cities thereof. And they smote them with the edge of the sword, and utterly destroyed all the souls that were therein. He left none remaining, as he had done to Hebron, so he did to Deber and to the king thereof, as he had done also to Libna, and to her king. So Joshua smote all the country of the hills, and of the south, and of the vale, and of the springs, and all their kings. He left none remaining, but utterly destroyed all that breathed, as the Lord God of Israel commanded. And Joshua smote them from Kadesh Barnea, even unto Gaza, and all the country of Goshen, even unto Gideon. And all these kings and their land did Joshua take at one time, because the Lord God of Israel fought for Israel. And Joshua returned, and all Israel with him, under the camp to Gilgal. Chapter 11 Joshua and Israel conquer the whole land, destroying many cities and nations. And it came to pass, when Jabin king of Hazor had heard those things, that he sent to Jobab king of Maiden, and to the king of Shimron, and to the king of Akshaph, and to the kings that were on the north of the mountains, and of the plains south of Kinneroth, and in the valley, and in the borders of Dor on the west, and to the Canaanite on the east and on the west, and to the Amorite, and the Hittite, and the Perizzite, and the Jebusite in the mountains, 
and to the Hivite under Hermon in the land of Mizpeh. And they went out, they and all their hosts with them, much people, even as the sand that is upon the seashore in multitude, with horses and chariots very many. And when all these kings were met together, they came and pitched together at the waters of Miram to fight against Israel. And the Lord said unto Joshua, Be not afraid because of them, for tomorrow about this time will I deliver them up all slain before Israel. Thou shalt hawk their horses and burn their chariots with fire. So Joshua came, and all the people of war with him, against them by the waters of Miram suddenly, and they fell upon them. And the Lord delivered them into the hand of Israel, who smote them, and chased them unto great Zidon, and unto Misraphothmaim, and unto the valley of Mizpah eastward. And they smote them, until they left them none remaining. And Joshua did unto them as the Lord bade him. He hawked their horses, and burnt their chariots with fire. And Joshua at that time turned back, and took Hazor, and smote the king thereof with the sword. For Hazor before time was the head of all those kingdoms. And they smote all the souls that were therein with the edge of the sword, utterly destroying them. There was not any left to breathe. And he burnt Hazor with fire. And all the cities of those kings, and all the kings of them, did Joshua take, and smote them with the edge of the sword. And he utterly destroyed them, as Moses the servant of the Lord commanded. But as for the cities that stood still in their strength, Israel burned none of them, save Hazor only. That did Joshua burn, and all the spoil of these cities and the cattle, the children of Israel took for a prey unto themselves. But every man they smote with the edge of the sword, until they had destroyed them, neither left they any to breathe. As the Lord commanded Moses his servant, so did Moses command Joshua. So did Joshua. He left nothing undone of all that the Lord commanded Moses. So Joshua took all that land, the hills and all the south country, and all the land of Goshen, and the valley, and the plain, and the mountain of Israel, and the valley of the same. Even from the Mount Halak, that goeth up to Seir, even unto Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, under Mount Hermon. And all their kings he took, and smote them, and slew them. Joshua made war a long time with all those kings. There was not a city that made peace with the children of Israel, save the Hivites, the inhabitants of Gibeon. All other they took in battle. For it was of the Lord to harden their hearts, that they should come against Israel in battle, that he might destroy them utterly, and that they might have no favor, but that he might destroy them, as the Lord commanded Moses. And at that time came Joshua, and cut off the Anakims from the mountains, from Hebron, from Deber, from Anab, and from all the mountains of Judah, and from all the mountains of Israel. Joshua destroyed them utterly with their cities. There was none of the Anakims left in the land of the children of Israel. Only in Gaza, in Gath, and in Ashdod they remained. So Joshua took the whole land, according to all that the Lord said unto Moses. And Joshua gave it for an inheritance unto Israel, according to their divisions by their tribes. And the land rested from war. Chapter 12 Two kings on the east of the Jordan, and thirty-one on the west, are conquered by Israel. Now these are the kings of the land which the children of Israel smote, and possessed their land on the other side of Jordan, toward the rising of the sun, from the river Arnon unto Mount Hermon, and all the plain on the east. Sihon, king of the Amorites, who dwelt in Heshbon, and ruled from Aror, which is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and from the middle of the river, and from half Gilead, even unto the river Jabbok, which is the border of the children of Ammon, and from the plain to the sea of Kinneroth on the east, and unto the sea of the plain, even the salt sea on the east, the way to Beth Jeshemoth, and from the south under Ashdoth Pisgah, and the coast of Og, king of Bashan, which was of the remnant of the giants that dwelt at Ashtaroth and at Edrei, and reigned in Mount Hermon, and in Salka, and in all Bashan, unto the border of the Geshurites and the Meacathites, and half Gilead, the border of Sihon, king of Heshbon. Them did Moses the servant of the Lord, and the children of Israel smite. And Moses the servant of the Lord gave it for a possession unto the Reubenites, 
and the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh. And these are the kings of the country which Joshua and the children of Israel smote on this side Jordan on the west, from Baal Gad in the valley of Lebanon, even unto the Mount Halak that goeth up to Seir, which Joshua gave unto the tribes of Israel for a possession according to their divisions. In the mountains, and in the valleys, and in the plains, and in the springs, and in the wilderness, and in the south country, the Hittites, the Amorites, and the Canaanites, the Perizzites, the Hivites, the king of Jericho, one, the king of Ai, which is beside Bethel, one, the king of Jerusalem, the king of Hebron, one, the king of Jarmuth, one, Lachish, one, the king of Eglon, one, the king of Gezer, one, the king of Deber, one, the king of Geter, one, the king of Horma, one, the king of Arad, one. The king of Libna, one. The king of Adullam, one. The king of Makeda, one. The king of Bethel, one. The king of Tapua, one. The king of Hefer, one. The king of Aphek, one. The king of Lasharon, one. The king of Madon, one. The king of Hazor, one. The king of Shimron Miron, one. The king of Akshaf, one. The king of Tayanak, one. The king of Megiddo, one. The king of Kedish, one. The king of Jachnium of Carmel, one. The king of Dor in the coast of Dor, one. The king of the nations of Gilgal, one. The king of Tirzah, one. All the kings, thirty and one. Chapter 13 There remain some lands yet to be possessed. Some inhabitants are not expelled. The inheritances of Reuben, Gad, and one half of Manasseh are confirmed. Now Joshua was old and stricken in years. And the Lord said unto him, Thou art old and stricken in years, and there remaineth yet very much land to be possessed. This is the land that yet remaineth, all the borders of the Philistines and all Geshurai. From Sihor, which is before Egypt, even unto the borders of Ekron northward, which is counted to the Canaanite. Five lords of the Philistines, the Gazathites, the Ashlethites, the Eshkelonites, the Gittites, and the Ekronites, also the Avites. From the south, all the land of the Canaanites, and Miera, that is beside the Sidonians, unto Aphek, to the borders of the Amorites. And the land of the Giblites, and all Lebanon, toward the sun rising from Baal Gad under Mount Hermon, unto the entering into Hamath. All the inhabitants of the hill country, from Lebanon unto Misrephoth Maim, and all the Sidonians, them will I drive out from before the children of Israel. Only divide thou it by lot unto the Israelites for an inheritance, as I have commanded thee. Now therefore divide this land for an inheritance unto the nine tribes and the half-tribe of Manasseh with whom the Reubenites and the Gadites have received their inheritance, which Moses gave them, beyond Jordan eastward, even as Moses the servant of the Lord gave them, from a rower that is upon the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba unto Dibon, and all the cities of Sihon king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, unto the border of the children of Ammon, and Gilead, and the border of the Geshurites and Maacathites, and all Mount Hermon, and all Bashan unto Samaria, all the kingdom of Og in Bashan, which reigned in Ashtaroth and Mithrii, who remained of the remnant of the giants. For these did Moses smite and cast them out. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Geshurites, nor the Maacathites. But the Geshurites and the Maacathites dwell among the Israelites until this day. Only unto the tribe of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord God of Israel made by fire are their inheritance, as he said unto them. And Moses gave unto the tribe of the children of Reuben inheritance according to their families. And their coast was from Aror, that is on the bank of the river Arnon, and the city that is in the midst of the river, and all the plain of Medeba, Heshbon, and all her cities that are in the plain, Dibon, and Bamoth Baal and beth baal and Jehazah, and Kedemoth, and Mephaeath, and Kerjathaim, and Sibma, and Zareth-Shehar, in the mount of the valley. 
and Beth Peor, and Ashdoth Pisgah, and Beth Jeshemoth, and all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Heshbon, whom Moses smote with the princes of Midian, Evi, and Recham, and Zer, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam also, the son of Beor, the soothsayer, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, and the border thereof. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families, the cities, and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad, even unto the children of Gad, according to their families. And their coast was Jazer, and all the cities of Gilead, and half the land of the children of Ammon, unto a rower that is before Rabbah, and from Heshbon unto Ramoth Mizpah, and Betanim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Deber, and in the valley Beth Aram, and Beth Nimrah, and Succoth, and Zaphon, the rest of the kingdom of Sihon, king of Heshbon, Jordan, and his border, even unto the edge of the sea of Kinnereth, on the other side Jordan, eastward. This is the inheritance of the children of Gad after their families, the cities, and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, threescore cities, and half Gilead, and Ashtaroth, and Edrei, cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan, were pertaining unto the children of Machir, the son of Manasseh, even to the one half of the children of Machir by their families. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for inheritance in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan, by Jericho eastward. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not any inheritance. The Lord God of Israel was their inheritance, as he said unto them. Chapter 14 The land is divided by lot among nine and a half tribes. Caleb inherits Hebron as a special reward for his faithfulness. And these are the countries which the children of Israel inherited in the land of Canaan, which Eliezer... So we're done for now. With that, I want to say a quick prayer, then I'll do acknowledgments. Dear God in heaven, we are grateful for this day which we have received. We're grateful for the peace we find in our home. We ask that thou bless our dog, Stevie, that she will recover from whatever is causing her discomfort pain. Uh, we ask that thou bless us with your Holy Spirit this day, this evening. Help us to grow closer together um, and, well, I guess we say this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Okay, who joined us today, I wonder, for the Minecraft ministry? We had another T TV viewer, Bing Cortana. FTO pair, go with him, have this too, Ice Wizards, let's do this underscore music, Nuclear Pigeons, Violets underscore TV, uh, I've checked out all of these channels so far, um, so none of these people are new, okay, let's see if anyone wanted us to buy um, something like followers in the chat, that's what usually happens. Okay, chat. Nobody left any messages in the chat. So, thanks for being here, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.